Welcome back folks. This time what I'm going to be making is a webcam for a telescope. Now I've seen some online, some fairly expensive ones and I just thought I'd try and give it a wee shot to make one. So I've, I've got two webcams. I've got this one which is a median, um, very low, low resolution. I've tried it, I've stripped it down but it's, it's, it's not very great to be honest. So I'm going to use this one. So this is what it kind of looked like before I butchered it, this here. Okay, now all I've done is I took off the bottom part, just one screw, and we don't need that. I took off the lens, which is, is, is very simple, four screws, and this wee bit pops out, then the lens unscrews from the sensor housing in here. So what I'm going to do now, is it's a one and a quarter inch telescope I've got and this is a 35 millimeter uh, film case I'm going to put this on here and uh, the idea is once I get this smack bang in the center which the sensor is you can actually see the sensor is smack bang in the center of the actual housing so as long as I get this smack bang in the center we're all good so I'll get on with it and you can follow my progress because it's, it's a nice flat face so as long as that's on there in the centre that's central so you can see there there's a slight rim there that's where it's going to go there's a slight rim on the inside I'm going to try and put a bit of glue around there and I'm also going to try and put a bit of glue around the outside as well You can see this okay. That's it. Put my finger in there and hold the lens. Or hold the, the sensor. That's it. Perfect. Right, I'll pop the screws back in. There's the sensor way in there, smack bang in the middle. Loads of room for light to get in there as well. And also, I've got an XV cover as well. So I can put that on and off, just to, just to protect it. Anyway, I hope you like that. Uh, the next part of the video will be this. The results, possibly actually showing you me fitting it as well. Here's the camera beside the, the telescope now. It is... I needed one thickness of uh, insulating tape around this area here. This bit's a wee bit thicker, don't need it there. A wee bit around here, and it doesn't move at all. So we put it in. No movement at all there. Um, we'll try it later on. It's actually snowing just now, so there'll be no uh, astronomy tonight. Catch you again shortly. This is an image taken with the webcam off the moon. It's slightly out of focus but it gives a really good indication of what to expect. Uh, I'm going to get a better quality webcam and I'll follow the video on from that point. Um, but this certainly works very well. Uh, you can see it's, it's zoomed right into the moon, which must be done with the mirrors on the Newtonian telescope itself. So you don't need any additional lenses. That was always something I was, I was kind of wondered how it worked. But anyway, new webcam, better quality webcam, and we'll move on from there. And this is what I got. It's a Microsoft LifeCam HD 3000. Pretty good quality camera and it cost me £25. It's about $40. Right, he's joined me now. After I've dismantled the webcam, this is what's left of it. This is a part. Um, this is a stand. And this is the main body. Right. And what I've done is I've changed the front of it. So I took off the front, which was on on there, on the front bit here, and I got a bit of plastic, um, about 5mm plastic, uh, quite soft kind of plastic, um, dead easy to work with. I've got a 35mm film capsule, and I shortened it down to about maybe 25mm or an inch for Americans, and also that 
gives the benefit of having the front cap cover as well because you don't want to touch the, the sensor inside. Now this camera, it was £25, probably about $40 US. Um, very good quality, high definition. It did have sound but I've kind of disabled that. Um, and this is what it looks like. Take that off and I'll put that in. There's a the sensor smack bang in the middle. And that should have a very good quality camera compared to the last one anyway. The last one was just more of a proof of concept. And it worked. Um, uh, yeah, it worked. I, I prove it worked. But the, the day I done it, it was on a really windy day. So the, the images are pretty shaky. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to install the drivers. Right, this is the image from the camera just now. Um, it should be pitch black. So it's got me. It's a wee bit of a problem. There's something wrong. So, we'll look at the camera, open it up, there's a lot of blue coming from somewhere. In fact, you can see it round on the glue as well. Yep, there must be something blue in there. Ah, we've got a blue LED, there we go. That kind of watch stay. I'm not going to take it out, it's too fickly, but I'll open it up again and put some uh, black tape or something over it so that it's pitch black. Right, this is the image now. Um, as you can see on the screen here, it's totally dark. Right, uh, whoops. There you can see it now. It's light now. If we cover it up, it'll go pitch black. So that's what we wanted. Cover it up. Oh, give us a second. There we go. And that has went totally dark again. Perfect. Right, this is the final build. Looks good. Cost me £25, plus a wee bit of time as well. And this is some of the images I've taken with it. Uh, very important to keep the sensor clean. As you can see, I've got a, a small bit of fur or a hair on the bottom of the sensor. That's not a problem. I'll, I'll take that off with a cotton bud or something. Um, but it gives very good quality images. The day that I took these images on was very windy. So, trying to keep the camera still to get a good image was, was difficult. Um, some of the videos is a bit shaky as well but I'm very happy with it. Um, at some point of everyone's shot with a telescope they're going to want to show their family and their friends what they've seen through the telescope so this gives a great method of doing that. Uh, and I, I'm well impressed with, with my results. Again because of the, uh, the wind I got that night taking these some of them are a bit out of focus, uh, but watch this space. In the next week or so, I'm sure I'll get a good night and I'll take some perfect photos for you. Um, Pallades, uh, Orion Nebula, things like that. And let, just get a good example of the focus that's actually on this thing. Um, the last image for the next couple of settings is a star. Just moving across the sky, normal speed, and it looks fantastic. Anyway, hope you've liked this video and uh, subscribe, like if you like it, don't like if you don't like it, and uh, catch us again, cheers.